and welcome to the Ident Review, the show where we have a good look and chat about the various television idents that we've come to know and love over the years. And for this instalment, we're moving back into the digital landscape as we take a look at BBC Choice. In the late 1990s, the BBC was rapidly expanding its operations, far beyond BBC One and Two. BBC Prime had launched in 1995, with a specific news channel following in 1997. And as digital channels started to become more prevalent in the industry, the BBC would soon enough follow suit. On the 23rd of September 1998, BBC Choice launched over the internet, becoming available on digital TV receivers soon after. It would last until 2003, with a wide mix in programming which would change within those five years to appeal to different demographics. However, let's now take a look at the idents that represented this channel, starting with the batch that launched the channel itself in 1998. Probably one of the most interesting visual idents produced by the BBC. As you've probably guessed, these all revolve around the theme of a pattern of three, each variant coming with different sorts of imagery, including hearts, mice, fans, and punches. There was also a trumpet variant, but sadly we couldn't find any existing footage of that one. I find these quite nice and appealing to look at, despite them being quite simplistic and some even may argue a little dated by modern day standards, the solid background colours complement well with what's happening on the screen particularly the ones with specific movements such as the punch sequence, that makes for quite an amusing viewing. Now despite the creative simplicity and easy viewability, in 2000 they would be swapped out for a new motif, which would only last for a single year. Now this is a massive letdown. After going for creative yet simple with the launch idents, this follow-up set had the potential to expand on it greatly, to be a bit more bigger and a bit more bolder, but instead we get probably one of the laziest and cheapest idents that the BBC has ever produced. It borrows from the heart variant of the launch idents, now with just a single heart centre stage, and over time other heart shapes are beamed out from it. The soundtrack may as well not exist, it's just a mindless array of generic beats, and as for the changing colours, well, yeah, sure it's a neat effect, but it just amplifies seemingly how little time, effort and money was put into creating these sequences. Definitely one of the corporation's weakest efforts across all its channels throughout its entire history. Thankfully, this ident was only in place for a year, as in 2001, the channel was restyled yet again, this time with three energetic cubes. Good evening, you're watching BBC Choice, and in just a moment you'll be watching those crafty cockanese in the EastEnders omnibus. The lovely Frank Butcher is the EastEnder revealed in an hour from now on BBC Choice, but first, Pat's present hubby is the one with problems. It's part two of the EastEnders omnibus. The lovely Davina McCall is providing more closure in half an hour on BBC Choice, but first that legendary spinning bow tie moment as Frank Butcher is the EastEnder revealed. So this is definitely a return to form. Again we have quite a simplistic setup, we have a green, digital-ish looking background and three orange cubes which, across the three variants we have, interact with one another, they zoom around, and at other times, aside from these clips, 
they displayed information about upcoming programming. Now by this time it is worthy to note that the BBC was looking to replace BBC Choice with a channel to be known as BBC Three. So the presence of three blocks specifically seems to be an interesting bit of foreshadowing. Overall, it's a good ident, has a bit of fun and it isn't an eyesore or a drag to view, and for many this is the main BBC Choice ident that springs to mind when the channel is mentioned. But again, this would only be in place until 2002. As the government approved BBC Three for a February 2003 launch, it was time for BBC Choice to reflect these changing times. Ooh. Good evening, welcome to BBC Choice, and as well as being happy that it's Saturday, you should also be happy because we've got an I'm Alan Partridge bonanza starting at nine tonight. In half an hour on BBC Choice, it's I'm Alan Partridge. And right now on BBC Choice, it's I'm Alan Partridge. And just in case you couldn't tell, it's I'm Alan Partridge now. And don't forget, you've got one night with Robbie Williams at... Good evening, welcome to BBC Choice, and we start this dark, wintry Thursday evening. 29 members of the public undergo 10 days of physical punishment in SAS. Are you tough enough in half an hour? Good evening, welcome to BBC Choice, but it's not for long because BBC Three's here tomorrow. Well, this is quite a bold move by the BBC. These idents, I think, overall are quite fun but they're also very respectable. I mean, it takes a lot of goal to basically announce that the channel you're watching is dying or being replaced by something new, but the BBC really wanted to give BBC Three the best launch possible. I like the little Christmas variants, how we see the slight differences in both the builders and the standing set piece, and I also quite like the countdown sequence clips we see. It would make the audience feel like we're building to something new, fresh and exciting. However, these idents also mark a spell of sadness, as they are essentially announcing the death of BBC Choice, which I'm sure for those back in 2002 and 3, who were avid viewers and fans of the channel, was a bit of a disappointment. Nevertheless, props to the BBC for phasing out BBC Choice with some fun, quirky and very on-the-nose idents. Now when you boil down to it, BBC Choice probably would have never lasted in its initial form, the target demographics and types of programming were constantly shifted around, and by the time they settled on the young adult market, BBC Three was pretty much set to take over them. So much so that the final night of BBC Choice was essentially dominated by previews for BBC Three. So although BBC Choice may not be that well remembered nowadays, it still does have its place within television history, marking the first real time the BBC went exclusively digital, a benchmark for what they would go on to expand and, and to achieve over the next 20 years. And so, we've come to the end, but before we go, the final words from our broadcaster. Ah, there we go, everything is packed. I've got carrots for the rabbit, I've got all your pictures, all your postcards, birthday cards, I've got the Tweedies, the Teletubbies, the Playdays, all your favourites, and we're ready to move to CBBS tomorrow. Yes, I'm very pleased. It all starts at 6am, and I'm going to be watching with you guys as well. We're going to meet some new friends and have lots and lots of fun, but for me, Goodbye. You're watching BBC Choice, and if you stick around, as if by magic, you'll be watching part two of the EastEnders Omnibus coming up. <laughs> The new CBB's digital channel launches tomorrow. Blow it off. CBB, CBB.
playtime all the time. That was all this week for this installment of the Ident Review. I hope you all enjoyed watching it, and we hope that you tune in next week. You can tune in to all the regular programs which will be available for you to view at their usual days and times. And it's our aim that the new shows will also see their time in the spotlight for you as well. But until then, have a good week, and we hope that you'll join us again soon. Good night.